ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal have made one of their first. Actually, is it their? Hmm. Arsenal have made their first major signing of the summer transfer window. Calafuri will be joining Arsenal. We got the here you go yesterday, but there was also an announcement today of a certain Arsenal goalkeeper being added to the list. And we have an Arsenal midfielder that we are seriously, seriously looking after. Before we go any further, this is a quick Arsenal news update. Please do hit the like button on the video, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new, and let's get this show started. Yes, yes, people, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football. We're back again with another video. Now, before we go any further, we need to talk about some outgoing players and some incoming players and some new signings. I'm going to begin with the Hail and Exodus. If you guys aren't aware, three of the Arsenal Hail and boys are looking to make a move. You got Marseille looking to get Eddie Nketiah, Fulham looking to get Emil Smith Rowe, and West Ham looking to get Reese Nelson. Yes, those three moves. Reese Nelson looks to be between anywhere between 15 to 20 million. Emma Smith Rowe seems to be anywhere above 35 million pounds. And the Eddie and Ketia deal, last time I checked, it was between 25 to 30. But Arsenal, of course, have said in the past that they would want around 50 for Eddie and Ketia. Let's see what happens as these three clubs are currently after these three players we're gonna to have to see where things escalate from there now before we go any further into any other news do me a favor guys hit that like button right now hit that subscribe button while you guys are here we're gonna what the hell's going on califiri's girlfriend yeah we're not talking about califiri's girlfriend or anything like that but before we go any further we need to talk about arsenal preseason is going to be around the corner so if you guys don't know arsenal's preseason is around the corner and Arsenal's traveling squad has been announced. As you can see here, this is, these are the players who are going to be traveling with the Arsenal first team to America. You have Carl Hine, Tommy Setford. You have, Luca, you have Lucas uh, Negreta, who's another player we signed, uh, another goalkeeper we signed. We got Alex Rojo, uh, Rohans. You got Ben White, Sinchenko, Timber, uh, Joshua Nicholas, Kavior, Heaven, Rickick, uh, Partey, Jorginho, uh, Michael Rusko, uh, Luis Kelly, Odegaard, Emil Smith-Rowe, Fabio Vieira, um, what do you call it, Ethan Nawari. We also have Salah, Jimmy uh, Gower, uh, Trossard, Reese Nelson, Charles Seg Segon Jr., and of course, Eddie Nketiah and Jesus. So those are the uh, players that are going to be traveling. We will not have the likes of uh, the Euros players, uh, for example, Declan Rice, Aaron Ramsdale, Bukayo Saka, David Rea, and William Saliba will link up with the Arsenal team after their trip to the Euros. And just to let you guys know, you're probably wondering, who is this Tommy Setford guy? Well, he has officially signed a new deal with Arsenal, uh, a deal with Arsenal. He's their new goalkeeper. He's been signed from Ajax. He's one of the uh, academy goalkeepers. He's 18 years old, if I'm not mistaken, and he's British. But, of course, he was playing for Ajax. This is academy for the last couple of years. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long, probably since he was at youth days, he's been playing for them. But it's a massive signing Arsenal have made, signing one of the highly rated 18-year-old goalkeepers out there right now. And we're just trying to revamp our academy because, if you guys don't know, our academy currently does not have many goalkeepers. Now... You're wondering where Tomiyasu is and where Kieran Tierney are. Kieran Tierney has a hamstring injury, and Tomiyasu will not be traveling with the team as he has a knee injury. Yes, Tomiyasu popping up with another injury. Uh, unfortunate for him, but hopefully he's ready for the new season. And yeah, Tomiyasu forever having injury is injury issues. That is partially the reason why we got him for such a cheap fee when we bought him originally. Reese Nelson, of course, traveling with the team. But before we talk about Reese Nelson, let's talk about Mikel Moreno. Mikel Moreno is wanted, uh, wants uh, to think carefully before, uh, uh, carefully about which path to take after deciding not to renew with Sociedad. At the moment, teams that have 
been the most interested are Atletico Madrid, Arsenal have made some calls so uh, and inquiries, but there is no official offer yet. So let's see what happens with that as there's no official offer with him yet. And I think Mikel Moreno at this moment in time, we're not going to see too much right away from Mikel Moreno. Like I can see here, there's, there's another one here saying that Arsenal have made some calls and inquiries about Mikel, but no offer yet. We have another one here saying Barcelona will let the week go by this summer to sign Mikel Moreno. They will try, but the clubs are still waiting the last days of the summer transfer and look at opportunities to sign a midfielder. So this could go down late in the transfer window if he wants to move to Barcelona. Atletico Madrid are also looking at him as they are trying to get something sorted out for him too. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Um, situation with Calafuri. Arsenal are close to finalizing. Yeah, the deal's done. We've gotten the here you go. We've gotten David Onsin's tweet. We've got Fabrizio Romano's tweet. Everything's pretty much done. You even have people in his family uh, leaking stuff about him potentially joining Arsenal. So, yeah. It's... So, James Bench is just a little late on late in the party. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing more to be said there. But there is this uh, thing floating about where everyone's saying players cost more money. Better players cost more money. <laughs> What the hell? This is what I was going to talk about. I don't know why this is trending right now. You got people uh, on social media talking about who's the bigger club, Arsenal or Chelsea. It's clearly Arsenal. I don't know why people even still have these conversations. It's just very silly. But yeah, I will be doing a full watch, uh, a full video though on Monday where it's going to be a call-in show. So get involved Monday when I do the call-in show. Also, um, there's not too many things to really talk about today besides Tommy Setford being signed. Mikel Moreno, do you believe Mikel Moreno will become an Arsenal player before the end of the transfer? No, yes or no. We already know that Calafiri is done. And it's nice to see all the players headed out to preseason. But this preseason, we're not going to have all our best players out there. We're, a lot of our best players are going to be still recovering from playing late in the in the in the euro so we're gonna have to wait and see what happens there but yeah for now we're gonna leave it there and yeah, crazy musa diaby just agreed a deal to go to saudi arabia for 60 million euros what the hell is going on what the hell is going on crazy but yeah don't forget guys we will be there everyone keeps talking about all these other teams all these other signings Arsenal's going to be there and thereabouts next season. And Pep Guardiola himself knows it. For the future, Arsenal gave it a message. And we take it. Do you so, expect them to continue being your closest challengers? There is... I have a few certain things in my life. <laughs> like is, I wake up in the morning and I'm going to sleep in the night. <laughs> this is going to happen until the rest of my life. The other... Anyways, have a good one, guys. Hit the like button and we're out of here. Peace.